is voting day. You just said G. He's singing along. He's starting to say the words. He's singing the right note. He is, and he's doing the right sound. He is, like, he can hear it. And he's kind of trying to sign it, too. Good job, Jacob. So that's a really cool special step, is that Jacob is singing along with a phonics alphabet song. And he's saying the letters, he's making the right sound. He's even singing in tune, and he's trying to do the signs. This is great development, we love to see it. All right, so today is voting day, and we just parked in front of uh, where we vote in our town and Elizabeth is here and Michael's here um, Jacob's off at school, but they're gonna come in and vote with me now Michael has voted with me before but this will be Elizabeth's first time To come and witness a vote. So Michael since you've already been Can you just sh share with me and Elizabeth? Some of the things that you learned from the last time that you went voting or some of the things you remember um, I don't remember very much, but um, if you get there at a bad time, then you have to wait very long in a line. Yeah. Is um, there, um, can anybody just come in and vote? No, you have to be an adult. You have to be a voting age, which is 18 or older, a yeah. legal adult. I do remember their stickers. They give out stickers. They do give out stickers. This with like those she loves stickers. Yeah. You know. Now, when you go in, when we go in, they have a bunch of private area. You have to show your voter ID. So you'll notice these people walking by, they're bringing in their wallets because they have to have some sort of photo ID or voter, voter ID in order to vote, right? Oh. To know that you're an American citizen. Then you get your ballot and you go to a private section so nobody can see what you're doing and you fill out all those little circles. Yeah, I remember you let me do that. But... I'm gonna get my IDs and we're gonna go vote. Okay, let's go vote. <laughs> So we just finished voting. Michael's got a sticker on already. Okay, Elizabeth, did we finish voting? Yeah. Yeah, can you show me what you got after voting? Yeah. A sticker and... Yeah. Yeah, good job. So we did the whole process. It was really cool to be there. There was actually a lot of people that had kids today. There's kids all around out here and I've seen them come and go it's lunchtime so a lot of people are coming on their lunch break to vote but it's cool to take my kids in there and to show them the process that one day they'll be able to participate in I just saw him doing a really cool special step he's balancing and he can balance on it like that you see Jacob is doing the balance board I sh I Good balancing. All right, today we have the task of moving some things around. We have this awesome bookcase that we got from IKEA, or what is it called, a bookshelf? This shelving complex? What, what would you call this? This thing. It's an IKEA thing. And we're gonna move it from here over to here. Yeah, I want to have the center of what we do as a family in the room where we do it all. So initially I put it in here because I thought, oh, we're gonna, this is gonna be like the study room, the homeschool room, the playroom, but we don't come into this nook very often and so a lot of this stuff is unused. And so I'm testing out the theory where people say your environment is really what matters in helping you do stuff. So I wanna move all the things that are important to me to be easily accessible for the kids so we can I can cook and watch them play, and anyway, the, it'll, it'll just be the center of the home, and so that's that's the idea. All right, well, it's like screwed onto the wall and everything, so this is gonna be quite the move, so let's do it. Done. 
bookshelf thing and while we were working Elizabeth and Michael got busy and created this hey. what is this I got your it's what your castle. It says, the kingdom of kids. Wow. Hey, this is your castle for the kingdom of kids. You got like a nice little bed over there. We can't get in. There's this gate all the way around it. This fence. And even if you did try to, we have protections. If you, if you got in the gate and tried crawling in, we have protections. Wow. Boy. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I'm gonna try and get in. Elizabeth's trying to get in. Can she get some help? No, she, she got up by herself. She can do it. Yeah, she can, can do it. That's a big step. She did it. Big step. Woo! Way to go, Miss Elizabeth. We did it. We did it. Good job. So I know for you, you don't like having the TV in the main living room. Yeah. Yeah, so that TV's gone. Does this feel better? It feels more like an education centered home. And it's just easy for me. Like this is my workspace. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, a lot of time with the kids. And so to have education next to the kitchen and just have it all be in the same room is gonna be really nice. Especially in the winter when it's colder in there and it'll be nice because our pellet stove's in here. So we do a lot of our work right here, our schoolwork, so. This will make homeschooling a lot easier. Yeah, awesome. well hopefully, but, and hopefully more attractive but then I'll be able to keep an eye on the kids. And it's pretty attractive to me. Yeah. Well done. Attractive to the kids I guess. That's right. Yeah.